Okay, how do you explain loops? There are two types of loops. So before I go ahead and explain what these two types are, a loop in uh, programming is a set of instructions which you repeat, right? So you have a set of instructions and you repeat them. Uh, you repeat them based on a counter or a condition. So a condition, uh, sorry, a counter loop is based on some kind of counter where, an, and typically a numerical counter, and a condition loop is based on some kind of condition. So let me explain that with real life examples. Okay, so when you brush your teeth, you can go up and down with your brush. So once you go up and down, twice you go up and down, thrice you go up and down. And maybe you brush five times up and down uh, in the morning uh, in the front of your teeth. Um, and so when you do that five times, uh, you have an internal counter, which goes from one, two, three, four, five. And it's a habit now, so you don't actually really count. Maybe it automatically happens, but really it's a counter inside inside your, inside your brain. You're just looping through it uh, five times. So that's a, that's a counter type loop, right? Counter type loop. And if you go in and uh, go to the next one, this is an explanation of a conditional loop. So you, uh, read this book or do something as long as this uh, condition is true. In this case, the condition is the light is turned on. So the light is turned on. You do, you continue reading this book as long as the light is turned on. So there's a condition here, right? So if somebody comes and turns this light off, you cannot read this book, okay? So, or you would stop reading this book. So again, to summarize, a counter loop and a condition loop. In uh, Python, uh, uh, we will use the for loop uh, probably with the range. So range is, uh, you know, a predefined set. In uh, the example, we're going to use a predefined set of numbers. And a while loop, we can set up a condition up front. And the, the loop repeats as long as the condition is satisfied. OK, so let's go straight into Jupyter and Python. And let's try this out. So let's start with the uh, for loop. So I'll define a range. So I'll call it, let's say, my numbers. Uh, and I'll define a range. So I'll call it the range function. And I will put in a range from 1 to 11. Remember that the last number 11 is not included. So uh, it won't be part of the range. Uh, and my starting number for the range is 1 in this example. So let's use a counter. And I'll say uh, counter is uh, part of a for loop. And counter, uh, please count within this range. So I'll use my numbers. And uh, I'll say uh, start doing the subclasses, which are part of the for loop. So that's why that column comes there. Uh, so I'm going to print uh, my counter. Uh, so ideally, what should happen now is it'll go through this range, automatically increase this counter and print that counter, which is all the numbers within 1 to 10. Let's see. Let's see if it's going to work. Yeah, that worked, which is great. So I got a counter within that range, and I just printed the counter. Okay, so that's how that range works. So it's uh, a numerical range, 1, one to 10, 11 not included. Now let's see how the while loop is going to work. So I need a condition. Let's call it, let's uh, use the real life type of example. I have a lamp which is turned on. So I say a lamp turned on is, I'm using a string, not a Boolean. So a string is a text, almost like a text. So not tree, true. So lamp turned on is true. Now while, oops, I don't know why I, had, I got this additional quote. But while this is uh, true, let's say lamp uh, turned on uh, equals true. So when I do uh, a non-assignment, I mean, I do have to compare variables. I use the double equals, so true. And then I put my colon and I say, OK, let's do something. Let's uh, say, let's get. Uh, let's ask or change this variable uh, f uh, based on a human input. So I'll use the input command and I'll say, um, you can please continue, please continue reading your book, but uh, uh, 
please continue reading back. Is the lamp turned on? Is the lamp turned on? If uh, if if tr true, oops, I don't know why it went there. If uh, if true, say true. <laughs> say true if it's on, right? Uh, otherwise, say true if it's on. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, put a little bit of space here. Put a colon. Let's do this. So. So basically what we're doing now is I have my lamp which is turned on and I've set the variable as a text called true and I'm saying as long as this condition is true so if this is true if the lamp is turned on please continue reading a book this command will come or the prompt will come uh, where it'll say hey please continue reading your book hey by the way is the lamp actually turned on if true it's uh, it'll keep on asking the same question okay so it'll keep on uh, executing this this uh, statement as long as this condition is true. Let's get, let's give it a shot. Okay, so there you go. Please continue reading your book. Is the lamp turned on? Say true if it's on. Okay, let's assume the book. Sorry, say let's assume the lamp is turned on. So is it true? Yep, it's saying please continue reading your book. Is the lamp turned on? Let's say I say true again. Keep on saying that true. It is the lamp is turned on and the uh, the uh, loop is being executed let's say i say i don't know i don't know it looks like it uh i think it's off it's off and it stopped executing that loop right so as long as the lamp turned on was true this loop continued to execute so the condition was true for the while loop to execute hopefully this made sense thank you